In this tutorial, I will show you how to quickly align your reference images for precise modeling in Blender. This is the first step to model anything right, the right way in Blender. So let's get down to it. So let's begin by optimizing our workstation by deleting everything we got in this scene. So we can select everything, including the default cube by left clicking, then you can press X to delete everything. So next I'd like to simplify our interface. So since we're not gonna be needing the timeline for the animation for now, so we can just collapse it. So you can do right click on the edge of the timeline panel right here, and you can select join down areas. So this way we're going to be merging it with the, uh, the 3D view part, of course. Also, you can adjust the right panel so that you can give yourself more space. So now it's time to set up our reference images. So I'd like to explain the 3D view part, how it works. So in the 3D view part, we have two main views. We have the perspective view and the orthographic view. So you can switch between the two if you press 5 on the numpad. So the perspective view mimics the real world depth. So the objects that are further away will appear smaller, just like in reality. On the other hand, the orthographic view flattens everything. There is no depth. So this view is perfect for precise modeling and we're going to be using it to place our reference images. So to switch between the views, you can press 1 for the front view. If you press 3, you're going to be jumping to the right side view. And if you press 7, you're going to be on the top view. And the final shortcut that I'd like to show you is the control alt q So if you press it, you're going to be switching to the quad view. So this will split the viewport into four panels the top view, the front view, the right side view, and the perspective view. So this way you're going to keep an eye on your modeling from all angles. And also if you want to exit the quad view, you can press again the same shortcut, which is Control alt q Alright, so now it's time to bring our reference images. So down below in the description, you're going to find a link to download the two image references. So these are the two image references. We got the front and we got the side. So let's go ahead and drag them into our Blender scene. So first what I'd like to do, I'd like to be on the orthographic instead of the perspective. So we can press one so that we can be facing the front orthographic. And after that, we can simply drag the front reference image. Let me just drag it and drop it here. We can align it with the floor. So we can press G so that we can grab it and let's push it up here. Also we can, let me just use the move tool so that we can move it a little bit to the side like this. So now it's completely centered. Also, if you'd like to get rid of this white border, so you can jump to this object that's a properties. Let me just expand it a little bit here. And you can check the opacity like this. So now you're going to be getting rid of that edge. Also, if you want to see it in both the orthographic and the perspective, you can check it here so that you can see the reference image in the perspective. If you don't check this, it's going to be hidden. Same thing here for the opacity. If you would like to reduce the opacity of your image, for example, you can crack crank that down to something like 0 0.75 so that you can see through our image. All right, so next we need to switch to the side so we can press 3 so that you can jump to the right orthographic. And here I'd like to bring the second reference image, which is the side. Let me just drag it and drop it here. And instead, I'd like to check the perspective. And let's click on opacity so that we can get rid of that white border. And let's align it like this down below. So we need to make this part here touches the green line. So again, press one to be facing the front, and this is the side. Also, I'd like to split my scene so that we can make the modeling much more easier. So here on the side, we can just split and have it centered like this. And on the right side, I'd like to split it vertically. So we can click on the bottom and drag up until it snaps at the middle. So here, we're going to be focusing on the side or the right orthographic. And on the top, we're going to press one so that we can be facing the front. And in this big left panel, we're going to be working on the 3D side. So here what I should do, we can just take the side a little bit backward and the front a little bit to the back because we need to work on our character head right at the center here. We need to have some space. And basically that's it. So now we are ready to start modeling our character. You can watch the next tutorial where we're going to be modeling the eyes of our character. You can watch it right here.